Hey YouTube, Jeff checking in. I just wanted to do a quick video explaining how to crop a video for Instagram for your feed, your stories, or also for IGTV. So yeah, let's just jump into the computer and let's uh, let's show you how to do that in DaVinci Resolve 16. So the first thing to do is to go down to this uh, gear icon on the bottom right corner. Click on that. That brings up your project settings. And you want to change the aspect ratio here in the timeline resolution. Now, I'm using a 4K clip, so I'm going to change it to 1080 by 1350. And that'll give me my 4 by 5 ratio. Now, if you're working in HD, full HD anyway, then you want to have 720 by 900. That'll give you the same, the same ratio. And I'll put the ratios in the, in the bottom below. Okay, once you have your, your aspect ratio set, uh, drag in a clip onto the timeline. You'll see that there are black bars, one on the top, one on the bottom of the clip, but you'll also see that the clip is now in the 4-5 four, four ratio. Okay, so this, the next step is to go to the color tab and Click on the sizing button here. Make sure this is clicked. I've already got it here. So um, this is where we'll actually um, place the clip within the uh, cropped box in the way that you want. So um, the yeah, first step here is to zoom in so that the black bars on the top and bottom are gone. You can zoom in more if that's what you want. Uh, then I'm going to reposition this um, this way as well to get to the composition that I'm looking for here. So this is fine. Um, so once I've done that, I'll go back to my edit page and I have a clip that I could export right now for Instagram. Now keep in mind that you can continue to um, do edits on your timeline add in uh, new clips. Um, you, can, you can create a compound clip and do this uh, as a single image, but I actually don't like doing that. I prefer to do my clips individually and then uh, position them individually in the color tab. Uh, just keep, do keep in mind that if you're doing this for Instagram that you're under 60 seconds. So um, there's that and then yeah, you can add transitions in or you could put in music, you can, you can edit whatever you, you want um, to produce for your uh, Instagram following. Okay, so one last thing that I did want to show you, I'm just going to get rid of this. Um, in the uh, Deliver tab, you just want to look down and make sure that the, um, the crop ratio that you're using for your timeline is here uh, in the deliver section as well. I mean, it should automatically happen, but it's good to just double check. And then I do keep the QuickTime uh, H.264 codec for Instagram. So um, I guess you do your normal uh, export uh, workflow. You name your clip, give it a location, and then export it out and um, move it to Instagram, whether it's by emailing yourself or using AirDrop if you're an Apple um, user. Um, that's all you need to do. All right, so hopefully you found this helpful and you can add it to your workflow and show some of your video uh, time-lapse work to your Instagram following. All right, we'll see you on the next one.